Hey guys, it's Victor. And it's Alicia from Fans of Jimmy Century. Can you guys do us a mondo favor and go over and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash FOJC TV. All right, so hey guys. I know it's been a while since I posted something on this channel. Today we are going to be talking about live streaming again. Uh, last time I showed you how to do it with your phones. Um, I've been getting a lot of people saying, hey, I look, I have a DSLR camera or I have a little camcorder that has HDMI out. Um, you know, what would be the easiest, cheapest way to do the same thing, but using a, either a, a DSLR, like a, you know, uh, like this is a Panasonic camera, or, you know, you can use Sony's, like the Sony A6100s or the Sony A7s or, you know, any of the, any of the Sony lineups that have HDMI out. I'm going to get into that closer and show you what that is, what HDMI out, if you don't know what that is. Uh, also, even the little handheld uh, camcorders that have HDMI out, you can use. The only thing you want to make sure of is, uh, so you want to look into the, you look up the camera online and make sure it has a clean HDMI out, which a clean HDMI out, what that means is, if you look at the back of your camcorder, it has all the little lines and it has like your volume meter and it has, you know, little, little different, uh, you know, icons on there showing you like, you know, what your ISO is and that kind of stuff. Uh, if you run an HDMI out and, it, and, it, and you're streaming that, if it shows all that stuff when you're streaming, that's not a clean HDMI out. You want it, when it comes out of the camcorder, to have nothing on it, nothing on the screen, none of the little meters, none of the little uh, ISO meters, nothing like that. So that's what a clean HDMI out. But if you just Google the camera and clean HDMI out, whatever camera you have, it'll tell you if you have a clean HDMI out or not. And uh, most cameras do, or they have a setting where you can make it a clean HDMI out. So what we're using is Panasonic. Um, now the older like Canon, like say if you have a Canon like T2i or a T1i, those don't have a, a clean HDMI out. But if you use Magic Lantern, which is a hack, so if you just go get online and Google uh, Magic Lantern for Canon, you'll see a bunch of tutorials to show you how to install it. It's a firmware that goes on the on the SD card. So it doesn't affect the camera, it's always on the SD card. So if you take the SD card out, you no longer have that firmware. But with that, you can just Google Canon uh, Magic Lantern clean HDMI out. And there's tons of tutorials on YouTube that'll show you how to use that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, Panasonic, all the Panasonics seem to work and all the Sony's uh, work as far as DSLRs. So when we stream, when we do our shows and that kind of stuff, we actually use a Blackmagic A10 Mini. The A10 Mini is about 300 bucks, um, but I found this little stream stick, little USB to HDMI stream stick, and Blackmagic makes these, and a bunch of other people make them, um, and they're, you know, anywhere between, you can get them anywhere between $80 to, to like $400. I actually found this one on eBay for $11 and like 99 cents. And it works really good. I mean, it's not amazing, but it works really good for, it won't stream 4K, but you don't really want to stream 4K anyhow right now. It'll stream HD, it'll, re, it'll stream in 1080p. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this little $11 uh, HDMI to USB stream stick, and we're gonna hook it up to our Panasonic camera. And so one, a couple things you're gonna need. One, you're gonna need a camera with an HDMI out. You're gonna need a laptop either PC or Mac. I only use Mac, so PC, you'd have to look up how to hook it up on a PC, but I'm sure it's pretty much the exact same thing. Um, you need an HDMI cord. The length would vary on, on how far you need the camera to be away from where you're at. This little USB stream stick, I'll leave the link in the description. And then uh, HDMI, uh, you're gonna need an HDMI to um, an HDMI mini. The Panasonic to Sony's, they take this little HDMI mini right here, and um, the Canon cameras take, uh, it's a little bigger than that. So you have to look up the exact HDMI size that your camera has coming out of it to get the adapter. For mirrorless cameras like the Panasonic's or the Sony's, they take this cable right here and I'll have this link in the description. Um, anyhow, so take that, and we're gonna hook it into our HDMI cable. This is a standard HDMI cable like this. One's like six feet, I'll have a link in the description. But I'm, you know, if you have a TV in your house, I'm sure you have an HDMI cable. Look that into there. And then we'll take the other end and we will plug it into our uh, little uh, H, uh, little eleven dollar HDMI streamer. Plug the other end HDMI into there. Take that end and we got to plug it in the USB of our computer. I'm also going to show you how to hook up a USB mixer or a USB sound card. That way you can hook up external mics. 
So if you want to uh, play with, with your band or say you want to do an acoustic gig and you want to stream it, you can actually go through a USB mixer as a sound card or a sound card, a USB sound card. All a USB mixer is is a sound card except for you have extra dials on it. And you can actually use the audio off that mixing board, but the camera uh, from your DSLRs. You can also use the audio off the mixing board and the camera from your laptop too if you want. Same thing, same kind of thing, except for when we select the cameras, we're going to select the DSLR, the USB stream stick, instead of the onboard camera. If you're running a USB mixer and, um, and also the USB stream stick on your Mac, it, the thing is, is this thing is a little too wide. So you're going to have to have a, again, sorry about the sniffles, I have allergies really bad. So, But anyhow, so if you're going to run a USB mixer and a USB stream stick, you're probably going to need a little USB extension because the USB stream stick is just too wide to fit in there with two USB, USB cables. So you're going to have to have a little um, extension on there so you can actually fit two USB cables in your MacBook. PC or USBs might be a little further apart, might work fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the USB stream stick. We stuck in the extension for our USB. And we're going to plug that USB stream stick into our computer's USB, all right, I'm going to drop that on the floor, and we're going to take our mixing board, on the back of the mixing board, we come out of the USB of the mixing board, and go around, and we're going to plug it into the USB of our mixer right there. The orange USB is out of the MacBook, and then out of the back of the mixer, we have the orange USB going into the mixing board, all right, so now our computer is going to be seeing that the mixing board as the USB for, or the audio interface for our MacBook. Now we just need to take the other end of this HDMI and plug it into our streaming camera. Okay, so we have our adapter on there. On the Panasonic's, the HDMI is the top one. So we'll just plug that into our top of our HDMI out of our Panasonic and turn our Panasonic on. There's no card, but we're not going to be using a card anyhow. Boom. Now we're going to plug our mic is in the channel one right here. And you can see if I test it, check, 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 check. You can see on the on the USB uh, um, on a USB mixing board, what's going to really control the gain going to your uh, computer is going to be your top gain knob up here. The volume knobs, the master out, it's really not going to do much. It's going to be this gain knob right here. So you can see if I talk into the mic, check, 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 check. You can see uh, how the levels are, and we want to keep that from hitting the red, but you still want it to hit the yellow pretty good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take that from over here, and we're going to live stream to YouTube, but this will be the same scenario for hooking up to Facebook or pretty much anything that you can live stream to. You're just going to select your camera, select your audio interface, and have at it. So you're going to click on your little uh, icon up here, which is create. You're going to click go live. And you want to click on webcam over here on the side. And uh, then you want to select your USB camera. Because that's what we're using. And then, and then the uh, microphone, you want to select, uh, mine is, will be Pro FX. Yours will be whatever it's called. I'll select that. I'll click allow. Now I just got to, it'll take me to this screen. I can type in, you know, my title, which I'm just going to put test. All right. I'm going to click next. My little picture's there, it shows me that I'm ready to go, and now I'm ready to go live. Now all I have to do is click go live, and I'm live, and going live, going live. live. All right, so now we're live, and check, check, check. One, two, one, two, hey, hey. This is a test um, for anybody out there on YouTube watching. I'm actually doing a tutorial on live streaming with a a uh, little $11 stream key for your DSLR camera. So uh, don't pay too much attention to this live stream. But yeah, so we're testing the audio right now. On the, on the, on the mixing board, you can see that uh, I'm hitting in the yellow on YouTube. Check, check, check. If you look down at the bottom of the screen, right? The audio coming in and it's hitting about two. So you want that about two or three. It should be good. You just want to make sure you're not clipping on there. What I would say is if you're going to go live, when you go live, to make sure that you um, you go private, go live private, test it out, get your audio set to where it's not distorted 
or it's not too low with your mixer just change just by changing your you know because you can't really hear back and your headphones might be different than what youtube's hearing so you know get your get your mix set right before you're ready to actually go live so you can just go live privately which i should have done which i didn't do so people are probably seeing this but uh yeah if you're seeing this sorry just don't worry about it uh this is a tutorial i'm doing but yeah yeah so again uh you know go live privately set up your audio make sure your guitar sounds good make sure your, your microphone sounds good and then you're good to go so now you've been live you're going through the audio of a, of a, of a usb mixing board so you can hook up multiple instruments, multiple microphones. You know, it's good for live streaming like podcasts. The audio is coming through the USB mixing board, not the not the Mac. And then you're live streaming through this little tiny live key. I hope you guys are live there. Little eleven dollar live key uh right into your DSLR camera's USB out. All right guys, so I'm gonna stop this live stream on YouTube so in case people are watching it. So we're gonna stop the live stream and we'll check that back, check the audio back on it. So anyhow, that's that's pretty much it. That's how you, uh, for eleven dollars, you can get a, a little live stream key, um, or you can get uh, the Black Magic, you know, uh, uh, ATEM Mini, you know, for more, or you can buy a more expensive one. But these little live, that little eleven dollar live stream key works great. And if you only have one camera and you have a DSLR, you want to set it back. The USB mixing board, you know. So I mean, you look at it, this mixing board, brand new. I think was like two hundred dollars. You know, you can get them used on on offer up a USB mixing board for you know under a hundred bucks. Uh, Eleven dollar live key. You can get a um, you know you can get the the, the Canon T two Is for you know one hundred fifty bucks, two hundred bucks on offer up. Now with those, you will have to put in the um, Magic Lantern uh, hack. And again, you have to Google that. The Sony A six thousands work really good. Now they're not they're not four K cameras, but again, you can't stream four K. And you can pick up those, uh, those Sony uh, A6000s off offer up for, you know, 300 bucks. And they're really good cameras. And they're, they're really good for shooting actual videos, too, as long as you're not trying 4K or blogging or whatever. But, yeah, that's, that's a great little cheap setup. We're going to look back and listen to what this audio sound like right now. All right, so now we're live. And check, check, check. Sounds great. One, two, one, two, hey, hey. Might be a little hot. Like again, just turn the turn the gain back down. Yeah, go you know go live privately. Get your get your uh, your sound dialed in, and then you know then you can actually set up a whole new stream and go live uh, publicly, and then you'll actually have your audio just nailed in there. You know, and what's cool about the USB mixing board is I didn't show you, but you could, if you have effects on it, then you can bring it up and you hear the effects you know, in, in there. So that's something you want to set up beforehand privately is get your effects all set and that kind of stuff. And with this mixing board, you have a switch right here where you can mute effects. So like if you're, when you're ready to sing, you can actually come out of a foot switch right there, turn it on and off with your foot. It'll mute the effects. And when you talk, unmute them or yeah, un, or mute the effects when you talk. So anyway, listen guys, I hope that helps you out. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll, uh, we'll help you out as much as we can. Make sure you check out all of our videos over on youtube.com forward slash FOJCTV. Uh, that's my band and my wife's band. And, uh, you know, we do a lot of cool stuff over there and our music on Spotify or wherever your streaming stuff is. It's fans of Jimmy Century and we'll see you next time. Yeah. All right. Bye. Television City in Las Vegas. It's fans of Jimmy Century's Fatal Original Variety Hour. Hey guys, it's Victor. And it's Alicia from Fans of Jimmy Century. Can you guys do us a mondo favor and go over and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash FOJC TV? We'll tell you why later. Later! later.